Hey guys, so I just want to jump on here real quick and talk about something that's been coming up in a couple of, of your phone calls with me, um, which is about the scale. So today I want to talk a little bit about the scale, why it's very important to weigh yourself every day, and about scale anxiety, which we all have, the anxiety and anxious feeling that we get when we step on the scale. Um, and I want to share some tips with you to, to, to not let it mess with your head so much, um, because I've been talking to some of you guys and some of you guys are kind of avoiding the scale or not uh, not writing down your, your measurements and all that. And and um, but we definitely want to be measuring it. Um, so today I'm going to talk about that. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is why it's so important that you weigh yourself daily. So some people say um, some maybe before this, you might have weighed yourself like once a week or once every other week or something like that. It's actually very important that you weigh yourself daily because our weight fluctuates a lot day to day. Our weight can actually fluctuate up to like five pounds. I've seen fluctuations of up to five pounds based on a lot of different factors. And in your intro guide, you have some um, uh, descriptions in there of different reasons that your weight can fluctuate. Um, It's mostly because of water retention. Um, your body can retain water if you have eaten a high, a high sodium meal. If you've gone out to dinner the night before and ate a lot of salty restaurant food, your, your weight's going to go up. Your body's going to retain water. If you're really stressed out, your body will retain some water. If you have been traveling and sitting in an airplane for a long time, your body will retain water. Um, uh, the other, other reasons your scale, the scale might fluctuate might be like you haven't pooed, right? You haven't gone to the bathroom. All those things can contribute to day-to-day fluctuations on the scale. Your period, that can make you feel bloated and heavy and retain some water. So every single day, your weight is going to fluctuate. Um, but that's why we want to look at the trend. And is if you're logging day-to-day. Right. So today you might step on the scale and it might say like 150 and then in a week it might say 152. In reality, that might just be two pounds of water weight when in fact you've actually lost it a pound of fat. But you wouldn't know that if you're not weighing yourself every day. Right. All you see is that that minor fluctuation. Um, So it's very, very important that we weigh ourselves daily and look at the trend over time rather than the day to day fluctuations, because the day to day fluctuations, they can mess with your head. Right. Like I've definitely been there. I've stepped on the scale. Um, if I go out to eat at a restaurant, um, I don't eat a lot of salty food. Often, so if I go out and eat a, lot, a restaurant meal that's super heavy and I get a little bloated, the next day I might be weigh like five pounds more on the scale. Right. But it's literally impossible to gain a pound of fat overnight. OK, literally impossible. You'd have to eat like an obscene amount of, of food, which would be like just so unbearably unrealistic that that's just not going to happen. If you do see your weight fluctuate day to day, it is a water weight fluctuation or it's like food, poo, undigested material in your body. It is not, you're not gaining fat overnight. So we want to be looking at the trend over time. Um, And as a coach, as your coach, or if you're monitoring your own progress in the future, you, the only way you know if your macros are working is if you're, if you have those measurements. So the scale is one measurement your progress pictures are another measurement. Um, another way to gauge your progress is the way clothes are fitting and the, the, the things people are saying and how you feel in, in the mirror. But the scale is it's one data point, right? Like a lot of people say, ditch the scale, toss the scale, this and that. But I really am not a proponent of that. I think it's one very accurate data point that does uh, measure fat loss. Um, and, you know, it's it's I need that information as a coach to understand if your macros are set right and like, you know, if, if you're not making progress, then we'll make adjustments to your macros. Um, but you want to be making sure that you're logging there as well as looking at your pictures, because some weeks, some weeks you might see no changes on the scale, but you'll see picture, changes in pictures. Other weeks, you'll see changes in the pictures. Um, other weeks, you'll see changes on the scale, but the pictures and not rely only on one one data. point. We don't want to put all our eggs in one basket. OK. Um, that being said, I know that the scale can cause a little bit of anxiety. So I encourage you to view it as objectively as possible, right? Like try your best to remove emotion from it. Literally see it as you're literally measuring your relationship with gravity, right? That's all you're doing. You're measuring your gravital, gravitational pull of the earth and your body. That's all it is measuring. It's not measuring your self-worth. It's not, you know, no one else around you cares what the scale says every morning. Um, the people you interact with every day don't even know what the scale said that morning. And like the only person who, who, who it matters to is yourself. So don't let it measure your self-worth. Literally see it as like a completely objective measurement. 
think about it like you're checking the weather, right? Like you don't check the weather and like get really angry and frustrated and like hate yourself because it says it's cloudy, right? You just wear a jacket. And it's the same with the skill, right? If it's up a little bit, don't like get angry and hate yourself and like sabotage yourself and say like you're gonna be fat forever, all this stuff. Like, don't do that, right? All you have to do is say, okay, it's up a little bit. Maybe it's because of this reason. Maybe it's because of, you know, I haven't pooed yesterday. Maybe it's because I ate out last night. Whatever it is, measuring it daily can actually help you get very in tune with your body and be able to like pinpoint why you might be feeling a little bit bloated or heavier. Um, and be able to pinpoint it to specific reasons. Um, and if you measure every day, you'll be able to, to get very in tune with yourself and, and do that. So, you know, if you feel like you're, you're feeling bloated for no reason, you have the past like weight logs and you can look back and say like, okay, last time I felt like this, I was, I was PMSing. So maybe my period's coming soon. So it actually teaches you a lot about your body and you get very in tune with your body by doing it every day. So do your best to remove the emotion from it. Um, one thing that I like to do is I like to like, say something really good about my body before I step on the scale. And so I go in with that positive mindset. Like, you know, I love my something out loud and then step on the scale so that, you know, I, I kind of prime my mind to be positive. Um, it's like, I love my bum and the scale says this and they're completely unrelated and it's not like affecting myself worth or negative energy. Okay. So, um, I really encourage you guys to really do your best to not let it affect you every day. And another that's another reason that measuring it every day can actually help reinforce that mindset and just get you more used to it. Um, because at the end of the day, if we don't measure these things, they are not going to change, right? Like what we focus on is what's going to expand and, and, and change. And so if we completely avoid it and, and don't confront it at all, it's just going to you know, it's not going to be a reality that we are working towards improving, right? It's kind of like if you never check your bank account, right? You never check your bank account. Some days you just use your credit card and swipe and like pray that it doesn't hit zero. Um, but if you never check your bank account, like you can never really get a good hold of your finances. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like your weight in your body. If you never measure what you're, what you want to change, if you never use the scale, if you never use pictures, all of that, you're not really going to be able to make good progress because you won't be able to measure it or, or gauge it, right? Um, and so that's why it's very, very important. Um, and as a coach, it's just important for me to, to understand, to get that data and be able to help you with your macros and stuff and make sure they're working right. That being said, I will, I will just put a big caveat here that some of you guys in this program or in, with your weight loss journeys, you might see big changes on the scale. Some of you guys might not see many changes at all, depending on where you're at and where you're starting from. Like if you're starting very petite and lean, you may be building and you're working out a lot and you're lifting, you may be building muscle and shedding fat and the scale may not change at all, right? If you're starting out a little bit, you have a little bit more body fat to lose your higher body fat percentage, you you can probably expect to see a good a good drop on the scale. Um, but so so that's another reason we just wanna, we wanna measure it. Um, and don't get too emotionally caught up in it because it's going to depend. Don't compare it to others. If you see someone else posting about how they lost a ton of weight, like your body type might be different. Your goals might be different. Um, so don't expect, you know, depending on where you're at, expect different things. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to say was, um, what was it? It was around the, the trends, the trending. Okay. So, some days, some weeks, if your goal is fat loss and you, you have a good amount of weight to lose, some weeks you may lose weight. Some weeks it may be super like flat line, you may not lose anything at all. It is not going to be a linear process. Okay, literally everybody I coached, their weight logs are like, boop, 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 right? But the, the end of the day, they're trending downwards. They're going like up and down and flat and up and down and flat and whatever but they're trending downwards. They're not like trending upwards unless your goal is lean, lean bulking, which I don't have any clients doing that right now. But um, um, at the end of the day, you want it to be trending downwards, but it's not going to be linear. Okay. It's not going to be linear. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. It's going to be flat. Some weeks it may, may, may whoosh a lot. Some day, weeks it might be flat. Some days and weeks it might go up. So that's another reason we want to look at the trend over time, because if we look at like one week fluctuations, it's just not enough data to gauge whether that's like a water weight fluctuation or actual fat loss. Um, so that being said, 
do your best and make sure you're logging every day. I do look at those to make sure things are on track with the macros and things like that. And if, if we need to make adjustments, um, I, I want to work with you so you know how to do that to post in our group. Um, and don't let it miss with your head, ladies. Don't let it miss with your head. It's not a measurement of your self-worth. It is literally just gravity. And it's just a data point. It's just think about it like checking the weather. Okay. Um, so hope this was helpful. Leave a comment if it was helpful. Don't have scale anxiety. It's um, just just practice and practice and practice telling yourself positive things in relationship with the scale and use it as a measurement, right? What we focus on expands and we want this to be something that's changing and we want to measure the progress. So have a good Friday and I'll chat later.